Hello everybody! Okay, Thrifty here. Welcome to Waffler Watches. For those of you that are new, do enjoy this eclectic mix and voyage. And for those of you who are returning, thank you kindly. It's helping. Trust me, it's helping more than you can imagine. So, um, came across this, well, wife did, in the bottom of a drawer full of horrible things. And she said, why don't you put this on your channel? And I went, uh, no. And then she went, but well, what if you could get it moving again? And I like a challenge. So this thing was dead as a door now. So what I did was pulled the crown out, as you can see, shoved it on the windowsill, which she moaned about, pointed out it's solar, and then shoved my UV torch on it for a good 10, 20 minutes, and I thought, ah, oh, what the hell, let's see what happens. So, before without shadow ado, this is the Seiko Solar Chronograph V172-0AB0. So it's the white dial, steel and PVD version. It's kind of like a dress chronograph. Seiko's alternative, I guess, to like a, an eco-drive movement. Uh, we'll soon find out if this actually works in a minute. So, we have a chronograph function. We have this down here, which is actually an alarm and also works as a second time zone, oddly enough, if memory serves. Um, you'll have to double check that. But these, I saw one of these on eBay for like 80 quid. And I thought, 80 quid? Blimey. I mean, they're probably not far off, like two, three hundred maybe or something similar now. I, I I don't know. But anyway, what does this have? So let's zoom in. I do forgive me for anything. I really haven't cleaned this up at all. This is exactly how it came out of the bottom of the drawer. So we have a very well done PVD coating on the bezel, if we're honest. With, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight markers. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I had to recount that. So it's got eight. This has got hard licked crystal on it as well. Look at that. That's not too bad considering where it's been and the life that it probably has led with my wife. We have applied indices, what looks like applied circular parts to the subdials. The hands, they are... St Do you know what? This is so typically Seiko, isn't it? Look at the quality of that, for what it is. So we've got like a, a net pattern, which is where the solar bit is, I'm assuming, or it could be the subdials, don't quite know. Then we have a smooth outer where the applied indices are with a rehoot of minute markers and loom pips. I wonder if the loom pips work. I'll we'll try that in a minute. I wonder what colour they are. Who knows? Right. Hmm. Wonder whether that's gonna work. Oh no, that's the sub that's the constant seconds. That must be for, well, we'll have a look in a minute. So this is the Seiko Chron Chronograph Solar. Doesn't have a sign crown, but they didn't in those days. Solid bracelet. Hmm, PVD coated on one side. Push pins. Yeah. The usual typical Seiko clasp. Cool. Okay. All right. Press lower. Theoretically, that could be a pressed upper as well. Screw on case back. Not taking that off. And I'm not going to either. Hmm. What are the dimensions of this? So we have... Well, let's measure it from there to there. What is that dimension-wise? 39.2. Okay. Measure it with the crown. 44, no, uh, probably 42 when we push it in. Lug to lug, 46.4. Look at that, all the ones. 
11.1 mil thick. What is that bracelet? So let's see if we can measure that. 20 mil. All right, be a bit of a strap maker, that, isn't it? So on a 17 centimeter wrist, Hmm. It's actually wears quite nice, actually. Look at that. That's actually not too bad, is it? Okay, so we've got polished sides, polished ends, brushing to the tops of that, of the tops of the lug. We've got brushed and knackered. <laughs> Bracelet. What does the bracelet go down to? This is going to be a long video. I do apologise. It's kind of off the cuff, this, isn't it? So it goes from 18. Does it taper down? To theoretically 19. We'll say 18 anyway. And 19 at the, 19 at the clasp. So that doesn't taper. No, it doesn't. Hmm. I have noticed that with some watches. Those that do not taper on their straps and on their bracelets do tend to fit better with me but then that does seem as if it tapers down a bit i guess it comes down just a bit and then just stays where it is that's why hmm so proof of the pudding <laughs> does this work i've left this on the windowsill for the best part of four weeks actually that's a lie three weeks thinking about it <sighs> <laughs> ah, brilliant hey that's being thrifty isn't it okay so ooh nice does it have split seconds give it a second <laughs> give it a second split seconds oh it's got split seconds <laughs> and then do I stop it there and then do that Oh, it rotates all the way around. Huh. I'll go figure that. Hmm. Well, there you have it. That's called being thrifty, isn't it? Looks like I've got a bit of a... bash around. Steel and gold solar chronograph to my collection. And whilst Mrs. Thrift is asleep, she can't say anything about it. Hmm. How about that? So, one Seiko Solar Chronograph V172-0AB0. That is called being thrifty, that. Ho oh, ho! <laughs> ah, there we go. Just need a mechanical chronograph now. And then I have an automatic chronograph, because you need an automatic and a manual, because you just do. Hmm. Enjoy. Have fun. Bye.